माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर राम सिंह कुशवाहा आई एम फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट आई एम हियर टू डिलीवर माई लेक्चर ऑन थेवनेस थियोरम विच इज़ फ्राम नेटवर्क थ्योरी सब्जेक्ट एंड फ्राम थर्ड सेमेस्टर Okay. First of all, I will let you know the statement of Thevenin's theorem. According to this theorem, any two terminal linear network containing energy sources and impedances that can be converted into an equivalent circuit, which will be consisting of VTH, that is Thevenin's equivalent voltage, in series with an impedance ZTH. Okay, I'll draw you the circuit. Uh, there is nothing but the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. This VTH is Thevenin's equivalent voltage. ZTH is Thevenin's equivalent impedance, and Z is the load impedance. And this IL is nothing but the load current, which we have to find. Now, according this circuit, IL will be equal to VTH upon ZTH plus ZL. Now, the question arises. what are this how to find the values of this zth and vth so there are two basic steps to find first one is remove the load from the network second one is find the equivalent voltage from the terminals from which the load is removed second is to find to find zth again there are two steps again remove the load from the network second one is find the equivalent impedance after deactivating all the energy sources from the network okay i will give you an example let us draw a simple network
there is a simple network which consists of voltage source V and Z1, Z2, Z3 are the impedances and again ZL is the load impedance and IL is the load current. Now we have to find the load current. In order to find the load current which is equal to VTH upon ZTH plus ZL. So we have to find the, yeah, we have to convert this circuit into Thevenin's equivalent circuit. In order to convert that, we have to determine the values of VTH and ZTH. Now from this circuit, first of all, we will find the value of VTH. To find this, uh, I have already told you the basic two steps to find VTH. So in that, we have to remove the load. and calculate VTH. Now since this VTH is parallel to the branch consisting impedance Z2, so if we can find the voltage across this Z2, that will be nothing but equal to VTH. So in order to find VTH, I1, Z2. Now, what is this I1? I1 will be equal to V upon Z1 plus Z2 or VTH will be equal to V Z2 upon Z1 plus Z2. Now, in a similar manner, we will find the value of ZTH. Again, there are two steps. First, remove the load from the network. and deactivate all the energy sources. Now from this network we can see that Z1 and Z2 are in parallel. So ZTH will be equal to Z1 parallel with Z2 and result will be in series with Z3. So, this will be equal to Z1, Z2 upon Z1 plus Z2 plus Z3. This will be equal to Z1 So this is the value of ZTH. Now in order to find the value of IL, we have to substitute the values of VTH and ZTH in this given formula. So next, I will delete this. So from the formula. IL will be equal to VTH. The value of VTH was V Z2 upon Z1 plus Z2. And the value of ZTH was Z1 Z2 upon Z1 plus Z2 plus ZL.
So, when we simplify this, I L will be equal to So, this will be the value of the load current. In this way, we can convert the complex circuit into simple Thevenin's equivalent circuit and from that we can find the value of load current I L. <coughs> Thank you.